Thank you. Thank you, Phil Sage. Thank you to my PETA family. You have truly been a family since 1968 to the present. And that includes generations of artists, many of them gone. Just last year, we lost three. Soxy, uh, Soxy, uh, who else? Mario, Mario, Mario oh, Reyes, and Spanky. So how quickly time flies. And really, the achievement of the company now uh, stands on the shoulders of many, many, many artists who have gone ahead. Thank you, Peta. And I'd like to say thank you to, to my biological family who understood why I had to be away many hours away from them. When, you know, when I first joined Peta, all I wanted to be was an actress and a famous actress. <laughs> But my personal journey took a major shift, one degree at a time. It was because very early on we were told, you're not supposed to just learn your craft. Whatever you learn on that stage in Raha Sulaiman, you're supposed to share it and teach it in workshops outside of PETA. And not just to artists or people who want to be artists, but to people who know nothing about theater. And that meant the community, farmers, the school youth. I couldn't understand why, but later, I finally did. We were sent out to teach in workshops all over the country, especially during the martial law years. Though it was very difficult, what the experience taught me was that there was a larger community of people out there with needs and problems much larger than my own. Through our workshops, we taught them how to tell their truthful stories in creative ways. And by this very act of going out and teaching, I gradually stopped putting myself in the center of my tiny world. That is how my juvenile angst, my problems, my anxieties began to disappear. When I became focused on the problems of others, and on teaching them how to cope or find solutions for theirs, I began being comfortable with walking towards the wings, no longer being on center stage. I also began to see for myself the power of theater and the arts, how it can entertain and teach anything at all, science, history, even climate change if you wish. It can make vague concepts more concrete and understandable, accessible to all. Looking back at my personal journey, there were three important lessons I learned from my years in PETA. One, the importance of being creative. We were taught to be resourceful, where there seemed to be no way at all to find funding or human resources or talent. We were taught if you're creative, you can always find a way. And that quality of being creative is what we were to teach ordinary Filipinos everywhere. We were taught that creative people are never really overwhelmed or put down. A creative people will learn how to think on their feet to solve problems of any kind. Lesson number two, the importance of working in a team, ensemble work. Theater is a collaborative art, a collective art. It's always a team of people to, that, are, that is needed to produce a play. Even if an actor were to do a monologue alone, you can be sure there's a team backstage supporting his or her performance. In ensemble work, focus is always on the objective of, of each scene or on the success of the entire play always on something larger than the individual actor and his ego. With good teamwork, even a most difficult task can be achieved. Lesson number three was the importance of truth telling. We always ask ourselves, do our plays tell the truth from the view of people on the ground? 
And so before we did a play, we did research, we checked out facts, we read about the topic, we interviewed people in the interest of truth. Creativity, teamwork, and truth-telling through our plays. These were difficult to practice, especially during the dark years of martial law, but it was something we learned to do through steady practice, through thick and thin. Nowadays, I think, for me as an artist, it's like deja vu. We artists are called to navigate our way through equally challenging times. We need all the more to come together as creative teams, or better still, creative communities of truth tellers who will resist the proliferation of falsehood and who will inspire our people through our works to be the best versions of ourselves as Filipinos. It is our hope that future generations that come after us will look back and see that we as artists of today did not turn a deaf ear or a blind eye to the call of our times. This is my dream and I know that Peta shares my dream and we call on other artists to make this dream a reality. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Kibawa buhay, Peta. Thank you very much.